It is completely normal to not be one color. Hey Shug, it's your favorite not bald esthetician Taj Mahali and today I'm going to be talking to you about body discoloration. If you are new here, hello, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. There's tons of great content here focusing on skincare, how you can upgrade your routine. I am a licensed esthetician who specializes in acne hyperpigmentation in multicultural skin. So that means everybody's toes, okay? With that being said, discoloration is one of the biggest things that I currently get asked about on this channel right now. Once we get the body acne gone, once that eczema is cleared up, once you know the jellyfish sting is finally healed, then there is some leftover discoloration that we do want to address because we want to all be an overall glazed donut in all places spaces and crevices okay number one friction friction is one of the hugest causes of discoloration for certain people just because we have our skin like our thighs inner thighs get talked about a lot on this channel um there's a lot of friction from walking because of the inner thigh area and you know with friction and sometimes with heat causes discoloration especially over a long time of just rubbing that skin together. Adding some lubrication to some of these areas, but rather the folds, or um, the folds in between your skin if you didn't have a little bit of excess skin. Having some lubrication there can really go a long way when it comes to that discoloration in those areas. I highly recommend using something with a lot of slip. The CeraVe Healing Ointment is an excellent agent to kind of give you that lubrication in between those areas. So you just need a thin layer of that. If you want to like to make sure you don't go crazy, use a Q-tip to kind of layer your folds or to layer in between your inner thighs here. Just to make sure that you have something that is acting as a lubricant in between those areas of your body. Number two, exfoliation. I want someone to go through and count the amount of times I've said the word exfoliation on this channel. Now there isn't such thing as over exfoliating so here's how I'm going to tell you how to do this. My favorite way of exfoliation is chemical exfoliation. Yes, scrubs have a place in the skincare game but it's really giving caveman skincare if your brand still heavily pushing sugar scrubs, walnut scrubs, some of my favorite acids to use for discoloration would include kojic acid, transnemic acid, because I, tra transnemic, transnemic, I can't spell it, I'm gonna put it down, transnemic. Both really great brightening ingredients. I love glycolic acid, like I am a glycolic girl. Certain products that would have some of these, in these ingredients in it would be, for instance, these Skin Scripts glycolic and retinol peel pads. You guys know I talk about those all the time here. I'll link them below. They also they have malic acid, kojic acid, really great brightening. So some of my favorite forms of exfoliation, especially for the body in areas where they tend to be just a little bit more on the uh, rough side, I love to do chemical peels, okay, all over. And if you guys let me do, I can document a full body chemical peel. Thumbs up if you want to see a full body chemical peel and what that looks like. Retinol. Oh, retinol is amazing when it helps for cellular turnover. And I find that the body tends to tolerate retinol way easier than it does for the neck and the face. Retinol is really great for helping with anti-Asian, acne, um, a lot of different other things. When it comes to cellular turnover, really pushing that dead skin up and getting it out so we can reveal fresh new skin, retinol is that girl. Enzymes are also really great. There is a um, enzyme from Skin Script that I'm actually going to be starting to sell. We have three different tiers that you can look on mahali-spa.com as well as a retinol scrub slash mask. Now the retinol scrub slash mask isn't truly a scrub. It has jojoba wax beads in it so they won't be too digging into your skin too sharp or anything like that. Using that as like a body mask amazing if you wanted to use this retinol scrub mask on certain areas like your inner thighs or even on top of your bikini line before you actually hop in the shower 
um i think that that is an amazing amazing idea if you did want to do some form of physical exfoliation i do like dry body brushing but that's where i leave it you ain't gonna catch me with no sugar scrub you don't catch me with no salt scrub you don't catch me with none of that but i do do that from time to time but now that i've been experienced or i've been exposed to enzymes and retinols they're amazing another one oh my gosh sorry this is gonna be all over the place but you guys just stay with me um after you get out the shower i love the josie moran retinol body butter i've been using that in the evening it has retinol in it really great for cellular turnover i have a little bit of light keratosis pilaris so you know chicken skin little black dots or red dots on your skin from you know how keratin gets built up in that pore ingrown hair and those oxidizes just not really pretty I've noticed that that has helped out tremendously along with the glycolic and retinol peel pads. Everything will be linked below so you'll be able to see exactly what I'm talking about so it just doesn't seem like such a foreign language. But those are my favorite exfoliating products at this moment. Number three, oh, active ingredients, active brightening ingredients. Okay, listen. Miss Kojic Acid Mamas, Miss Glycolic Acid Mamas, Miss Transnemic Acid Mamas, can you please come to the stand? Miss Niacinamide Mamas, Miss Miss Malic Acid Mamas, could you please report to duty? Clocking, as Sydney would say, clocking. Okay, these are some of my favorite acids when it comes to dealing with and breaking up pigmentation. What should be said, or if I haven't said it already, is you should be protecting your skin. So using a body sunscreen, even though you have on clothes, because sometimes our sun, the sun can definitely penetrate through our clothes. And if you already have discoloration, what is gonna keep stimulating that melanin in those areas that the skin is traumatized in? sun exposure. I love a good body sunscreen right now. I'm using the Kula body sunscreen just because I've been liking the way it smells and it's pretty affordable and it doesn't turn me into a chalky Miss Mamas. Number one, you want to do that and that's how that can allow your acids, your brightening acids to work that much better. The job of these acids are to break up the pigment, right? As for these exfoliants that you've been using two to three times a week, they're there to help cellular turnover so allow they, they work together they pour into each other so while one is helping to bring all that dead skin into the surface right and the other one's looking to break up that pigment they work together synonymously it's like a symphony of skincare and i say that a lot a symphony of skincare and you want them to work properly so malic acid derived from apples is what is in are um, retinol scrub masks as well as the glycolic and retinol peel pads. I've seen a lot of like medical estheticians who have been like, oh yeah, nice, like I have this coloration and I saw that this esthetician recommended niacinamide. Just because you have a $200 serum, Miss Mamas, doesn't mean that you can come from Miss Niacinamide. I will show you guys an excellent picture over here of a client that I had where niacinamide was the pillar of her success. And then within three months, we cleared up 95% of her hyperpigmentation. Do not sleep on niacinamide, okay? The Good Molecules Niacinamide Serum, the Good Molecules Niacinamide Toner, amazing. The, the Inky Lips Niacinamide Serum, amazing. If your skin can handle it, the Ordinaries Vitamin C suspension, amazing. Now when we talk about the cootie cat, let's talk about the cootie cat for a second. Cause I know you guys wanna talk about how to get a pretty kitty because that's what I do, that's what I talk about. Um, and discoloration down there. Chroma Bright by PFB Vanish is a life saver. In my very first video on YouTube, I talked about PFB Vanish. Yes, I did. But the Chroma Bright version, the Chroma Bright version is so good, we don't even carry the PFB Vanish traditional anymore. As well as the Luminate, which also has some brightening agents in there, we don't even carry the other stuff anymore. So, here's how I say it. You guys have been asking, right, about the Pretty Kitty Kits. When is the Pretty Kitty Kits coming back? If you're wondering what a Pretty Kitty Kit is, it is a skincare regimen that you can use for your bikini line specifically to help with ingrowns, discoloration. And what is this video about? Body discoloration. They will be restocked this week. 
so you can go ahead and take a look in there if you have emailed if you have messaged about a pretty kitty kit we will go ahead and respond back to you these are some of my favorite products ever okay and discoloration is one of my favorite things to treat ever so if you are interested in these things or if you enjoyed this all over the place video because girl i've just been so excited to record i am so glad that you watched it i want to say thank you to all a hundred thousand of you for helping me be the best taj mahali that i could be for youtube i am going to be coming back very soon the only problem is I am without home. <laughs> I live with my mom right now. And I'm actually at my new house at this moment. But it's just not ready yet. And so I've been kind of, you know, at my house. It's a little bit louder because it's more people that are living there. And here, um, it's a lot quieter. And I feel more at ease because it's just me and the camera. When I'm at the spa, there's usually an esthetician that's there that's working or a client getting a service. So it's really hard to record there and give you quality you know audio and visuals you know vibes so with that being said thank you for loving me i promise you that by the end of this year i will get it together y'all i promise you it's just a few things that are out of my control um and i feel like my workload keeps going like this at the spa and it's giving me amount of time to work on youtube so thank you guys so much for riding with me rocking with me Rolling with me, leaning with me, all of that. Thank you, skin friends. I love you. Thank you. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I look forward to seeing you again. Who knows? Maybe next time I won't look like Rick James. Maybe next time I'll be giving you Princess Diana. I don't know. I'm going to give you something else. Who knows? I'm, I'm in a very transitional stage right now, okay? Be blessed. I love you. Subscribe. Like this video so someone like you can find a person like me. And I look forward to seeing y'all again here soon.